hello and welcome in our previous video we had seen how to add the tags to a path operation in this video we will learn how to add the query parameters suppose if our path operation that is products get is accepting the query parameters then how we can define that in order to understand that we have to go to this documentation if you drill down under paths and you expand this operation object operation object is nothing but this get post and all apart from responses and tags there is this option to define the parameters if you open this parameter object here with the in clause or the flex field we can define the query parameter path parameter or the template parameter headers so we will create one if you press control and space you will get an option to select these parameters here this could be created in a list first i am giving the providing the name uh, before providing the name we have to declare what it is here we have to write this query what is shown over here in the query parameter we can supply the id so i am giving here id apart from name we can uh, give the description this is product id so after that uh, whether it is required or not we can define uh, i will mark this as optional if the consumer doesn't send this it shouldn't fail after that we can define the schema the, under schema we we had seen uh, it's good to define the type and example example will be one two three four five apart from this if you want to have an other some other restriction like maximum multiple of exclusive maximum all those things max length min length if it is a string we can add that apart from that there are a lot of other things which you can make use of uh, while defining this okay we can have a enum enumeration as well let's expand and check whether it has reflected or not if you see over here under the parameter it is showing the query parameter id so we'll add uh, one more parameter i'm copying this and pasting let me indent this so now uh, apart from this we'll get the products based on the price quantity uh, if any product matches that particular price then we are getting a list of all the products for that so price will set this as 30 only an example id also will provide as 100 in order to have a uniformity between our documentation so as you can see we are having two query parameters id and the second one is uh, price let me rename this as you can see this is reflected over here so like this we can create a query parameter in the api definition with the help of the swagger editor and open api specification thank you for joining us in this video